This is the Minnesota Woolen Company story, from the time the garments are made up until they are shipped on orders to your customers. Here is Minnesota Woolen's main manufacturing plant. Harry Dack and Burley Peterson, who are in charge of this plant, go over some of the production problems. Burley has been in the garment industry for his entire lifespan. And here's a production meeting with Nat going over some of the technical aspects of a new garment. Now we move to our second factory, plant number two, which is also used for storing the many, many thousands of layaway orders. This is the blouse unit in operation. One of our newest production units with new equipment all the way. In our main distributing building, a conference of all the key help. Nat is discussing policy with Jerry in charge of merchandise planning. Jerry works on some of our detailed merchandising records. Later, you'll see the IBM machine from which Jerry gets the latest statistics. From them, he plans all of our production. Jerry is also in charge of our styling. Here he checks a reversible skirt to make sure it comes up to all of our specifications. Here's Dick who assists Nat in our sales department. He writes a letter to one of our salespeople. Notice the full page ad from Life Magazine in the background. This is the main Duluth post office. This is a building your company helped to build, and it is due to the tremendous volume of business of the Minnesota Woolen Company, of which you as a part, that we have such a large post office in the city of Duluth. All the scenes you will see from this point were taken in the Duluth post office and show only post office employees. Here you have the packages as they've been moved off. This is a typical shipping day you might see throughout the entire year. It is Christmas every day at the Duluth Post Office when Minnesota Woolen ships. You see the post office personnel as they work on the packages. Our local post office distributes these packages the same day they come in. Here they're stamped and sorted for various sections of the country. Afterward, these packages are put into piggyback semi-trailers which go right to the train. It is due to our tremendous volume of shipping that the post office here in Duluth has put these piggybacks into use. It is evening. We have shipped so many packages, the post office couldn't get them out during the regular working day, so they've been put on an additional crew, and they're working into the night to get them out to your customers. Here are the last of the packages, ready to go off to the train. This concludes our Minnesota Woolen Company story, from the sheep's back to the garments being worn by your customers. Now scenes from the drawing of winners in your 1959 Celathon. This tremendous promotion enabled more business to be written by every salesperson than any other event in our history. Eight full barrels of entries submitted by hundreds of thousands of customers all over the United States. Minnesota Congressman John Plotnick officiated and made all drawings. Nat Polinsky, along with his sons Jerry and Dick, assisted. Before the event, the barrels of entries were rotated and mixed to give each entrant a fair chance. Duluth Mayor Mork and his administrative assistant, M.D. Labradovich, were among civic and business leaders on hand for the drawing. The press, television, and radio were there to record the names of the winners for dissemination throughout the area. This fabulous telethon is the most successful promotion ever attempted by Minnesota Woolen on a national basis, and it's just a forerunner of more wonderful events to come. <laughs>